Hi guys, it's Maika. Today I'm back with a oldie but goodie number 10 and an everyday Christmas number 8. And here it is. It's um, a stamp from Art Impressions. It's called uh, UML4123. It's from the Wood series. And I looked it up, it's still available on Sam's stamp. And the other one for the sentiment I'm using is Hill Art Dear four by six and that one I got in a goodie bag from Samus stamp and it's from 2013 so I didn't look that one up but the woods definitely is still available in sentiments you know you can use anything I'm using Samus stamp intense black because I'm gonna do some spectrum noir coloring and I have to press right hard that the lid is very rigid so there's not much give and you have to press it and yeah, that's hard for people with Roma like me. <laughs> so um, this is Kling Stamp and the other one is Clear Stamp. So that's why the Rear Memory Keepers Precision Press is so fabulous. Because you don't need to change anything. And I thought um, I'm going to use the banner. It says the most wonderful time of the year. And I thought maybe it could look like they are sitting on it or holding it. It didn't really work out. I didn't mask anything. So <laughs> but yeah i just winged it i wasn't really sure where to go with this card anyway and um yeah you see the 2013 i just cut it off and now it says only a happy holiday so if you have stamp set like that maybe you can make them current again by just mm, performing some surgery <laughs> cosmetic surgery and i um threw out the 2013 i wasn't gonna keep that for not needed anymore. I like these specialty colors that the package has the lilac and the blue green. There's a minty color in there, but I went for a, a TD um, blue, BT, blue teal, I guess. And this is a hydrangea blue. And there's a one, two, and three, and one is very different from two and three so i had to let it dry a little bit and you'll see then i go back with a pattern blending technique just so to even out the um, edges or the borders or the, you know and i'm looking at the packaging for where the shadows are which is <laughs> really handy and i'm just kind of copying it more or less <laughs> hey. so I'm fading out HB3 with HB2 and then you can see already that HB1 on the back is so much lighter but I'm gonna first blend out two with one and then I'm gonna let it dry a little bit to see how it dries up because sometimes you think, oh, it's okay, actually. But it wasn't, so. <laughs> That's why I went back with your palette blending. And oh, I'm sorry if you can hear my cat purring in the background. He's sitting on my lap. I'm not sure how the, cam or the camera, the microphone picks that up. Hmm. And um, yeah, you can see the banner went through one of the talons, but the, yeah. Try to uh, disguise it with a dark color, but <laughs> still there. And the same kind of happens with the BT four and three, and then two and one are much lighter. So I kind of stuck to two colors only here. But then, yeah, HB two and. I find them quite similar. <laughs> then, uh, yeah. You can see there's quite a harsh line between them. So there's my um, little laminated piece of paper that I use for. Oh, just just inking and also <laughs> palette blending. You can see there's still some pink and green on there. 
and I'm just picking up a darker color with the lighter and you can do the tip to tip uh, technique as well but I kind of prefer to do it this way and the more you pick up the more you need to put on uh, the image to uh, kind of go back to your original color if you do little steps then it's easier I guess to clean off your marker again and now I think it looks good so for the beaks I went for BO I think that's brown orange it's in one of those new colors I don't know I should look it up <laughs> I keep saying that as well I, I did look it up I just don't remember so. <laughs> And um, on the packaging, the claws are brown. I went for orange because the beaks are also orangey. And uh, yeah, actually, I'm not sure owls have orange beaks, but I think they're more black. And the well, the packaging used orange, so I used orange. <laughs> So I'm going to fill in the bit behind the banner with an ice gray 2 and then I'm going to do the banner in the same color. I thought I would tie it in a little bit and here I forgot one claw. And I um, didn't color the claw that's on the right, that's on the banner, which I probably should have instead of trying to disguise it. Yeah, I didn't, so <laughs> at this point I wasn't really sure where I was going with my coloring. I was just trying to make it one coherent piece. And I thought the banner would ground the owls and it would look nice if they seemed to be holding it. But then yeah, one stamp is bowed curved and the other one isn't <laughs> it didn't really work out that way but and um, I didn't put any shading on the front of the banner although it's curved there should be maybe a bit of um, shading but um, because of the lettering I didn't really want to mess with it and um, you know make it so that you can't read it anymore I left it and um, yeah but maybe the bit behind the banner should have been darker I thought it would tie in better if it was the same color as the banner no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as I said I wasn't sure where to go and um, this is brown gray one on the packaging there's no shading on their bellies only on the feather bits that are drawn in but I thought it should have a little bit of a shading on the sides so I did that see these are orange and but the, um, uh, the colors I'm gonna choose now the TN six seven and eight also maybe the RBs are nice as well but I went for the tens and the ten six is really similar to the orange on or the claws so in the end I just uh, went over 6 and just left 7 and 8. But I'm uh, starting with 6 just to give it a coat. And then I realized, oh, that looks just like my claws or feet or talons. Or... <laughs> claws. Yeah. Santa Claus. <laughs> anyway this and then a shading and here yeah, I'm just doing my own shading and didn't look at the packaging anymore so the eyes they are very solid they didn't stamp very well because of the rigidity of the lid so I'm just filling it in with my pigment multiliner 
and then I put some shine back in with a gel pen on the one on the right I went over the little shiny thing in his eye but I couldn't find my nice one my signal gel pen so I used another one and well, it didn't really work <laughs> well, it's coming off on my hand but just not on the paper for some reason So this is a bit of a smart card that I uh, put aside from another project and then I'm just covering it now with my panel so I don't have to throw away this card base. And just some tape runner to adhere it to the card base and that's the card finished. So <laughs> thank you for watching, I hope you liked it and I will see you again soon, bye!